Okay, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I'm super, super excited to have you. And I'll be walking you through a very, very cool uh, concept in the Microsoft uh, Contact Center. And that is uh, the integration of your WhatsApp business, right, um, to uh, Microsoft Dynamics Contact Center, or many channels as the case may be, and um, how this is going to span out and the whole chat interface, how it's going to come up. So straight away, um, I'll be walking us through doing the configurations from the Twilio end. So we'll be using Twilio, as you can see on the, on the display. We use using Twilio and also how you integrate that with um, Microsoft Contact Center and its Omni channel. So stay tuned and um, let's have this walkthrough. So also you could hit the um, notification bell and also the subscribe button so that you can get um, more informations and quick notifications when we I release this kind of videos. So let's head straight to um, the tax for the day. So I'll proceed to just uh, get my get my environment up, right? So this is my environment. All right. So what I will do is um, we'll do the setup first of all from the Dynamics three six five end. So let me just go to the environment I want to use. So I'm using a trial environment. So let me just do something here uh, and go to my Power Platform Admin Center. So that I can get the environment you are. So this is the environment I want to work on, right? The uh, trial environment I have on my tenant. So straight up, what we'll be doing, we'll be going uh, to the contact center admin uh, page up on the system. So just give this some few seconds to load and come up. So what we'll do is head straight up to contact center admin center we had this so just click on the contact center admin center here so when i click on this so what we want to do is um create the whatsapp work stream uh our, we've already created the queue so if you want to see how to create queues so check my video on um uh creating queues and work stream for contact center so I'm going to click on the work stream here and just click on add new. So I'll just call this. I'll click on inbound and click on next and call this um, WhatsApp work stream, right? So the type will be a message and the channel will be WhatsApp. And for the queue I'll be choosing, I'll choose an existing queue for the default, which is a chat queue. And I'll click on create. So we'll just give this a couple of minutes to create this work stream for us. Then we'll proceed to do the configuration in the work stream. So our work stream creation is done. Um, so this area here is where you set up your WhatsApp. Then this is where you do your routing rules. So if there are some classification, you need to classify some um maybe WhatsApp request as they come, you can do that here. They also define the routing rule. Then you also have the work distribution area here, right? Where you define how, uh, after inactivity, meaning when um, there's no response coming from the, from the client, how long should you leave the, it open if the agent doesn't close it? Then the route, the distribution here is push me to auto assign it, right? Then you can have the capacity uh, wrap up and other um, configurations here. So this AI agent is where we will station our chat bot. So we're going to be using one of our default chat bots. If you want to see how to create a chat bot, you can check my um, videos on creating chat bots. So now I'll just click on set up WhatsApp. So what we need to do, we will need to add a WhatsApp account. So I'll just click on add WhatsApp account. And it brings us to the account additional page. So I'll just click on add account. And now I'll call this uh, our Twilo. WhatsApp account, something like this. Then I click the channel, it's WhatsApp, right? Then I click uh, by enabling this, then I click on next. So now we're going to be adding the our Twilio um, credentials here. So I'll pick Twilio. 
then I need to get the Twilio account SID and the Twilio authentication token. So to get that, um, I'll just hop onto my Twilio console. So you could just go to Twilio lo login. So when I click on Twilio login, I just click on Twilio here, log into Twilio, and uh, let me pass in my details. So when I'm done passing in my details, right, then um, this is the console. You can just walk through creating a, a trial console for yourself. Um, so when you're done creating it, you have your account SID here and also you have your uh, authentication token. So this is just the both things I need. So I'll just copy the account SID, then go to my um, environment, paste it on the account SID. Then come to Twilio again and copy the authentication token. Then I'll come here and click on pasting it. And once I'm done, I click on next. When when this is done, I need to now add the phone number. So I haven't bought any phone number on Twilio yet, but I'm going to be using a trial phone number. So to do that, just come down to your messaging here under this account dashboard panel under develop click on the messaging drop down then go to try it right click on try it then you see the whatsapp send a whatsapp message so I'll just click on this then after clicking on this it's going to walk us through how we can test it but let's set up our our whatsapp first so this is a phone number that you'll be using uh, um, to test. So I'll just copy this phone number, then go back to my environment and click on add here. And I'll just call this Twilo Sandbox, right? And I'll paste the phone number here, then I'll click on add. So once I'm done adding, then I'll click on next here. Then there's the point where you now copy the uh, callback uh, URL, right? That we're using to integrate. So this is the WhatsApp uh, channel ID. So I'll just click on this. Once I copy this, I'll take it to Twilio. So take it to Twilio here, then go to your sandbox setting. Then you see the, when a message comes in, the post should come here and when the status callback URL will be same. So when I'm done like this, I save. When I'm done saving, I'll go back to my WhatsApp channel. Now I'm, I'm configuring. Then I'll click on done here, right? Just click on done. And I'm done setting up the um, accounts. So what we'll do now is we'll proceed back to our work stream. And go to the um, work stream we're actually creating, which is this WhatsApp in, um, work stream. Then now we we'll now complete our setup uh, for the WhatsApp. So click on this and I'll call this um, Twilo WhatsApp chat, right? So I'll call this this. Then I click on next. Then now I will use the phone number we just provision. I'll click on this and click on next. English leave it as this. Then behavior, we don't want to pass in. If you want to pass in any custom message, you could put them here so that when somebody goes to your WhatsApp page, there's a custom message that pops up. Sometimes maybe some greetings or some requests as the case may be. Then but I'll be leaving everything as this. And if you also want to pass in survey after the conversation ends, you could turn on the checkbox here. So I just click on next, leave everything as default, then click on next and I'll be able to now create my channel. So we'll just give this a couple of minutes to create and now our channel integration it's done then uh, lastly what i'll just do now is to add my chat bots to this right then i'll then proceed to test so let me just add a chat bot here so let me just add this chat bot here so once you're done you can check my videos on 
creating chatbots and integrating with WhatsApp. So now that we are done, um, I'll just refresh this, then spin up my WhatsApp for us to test. So let me spin up my WhatsApp. Let's test. All right. So now let me open up WhatsApp. Uh, so this is my WhatsApp. Then let, let's go down to our sandbox so we could test. So to test now, right, um, I need to send a message to this WhatsApp number and the code to join is this, right? So let me just scan the barcode on my WhatsApp using my mobile and um, we'll then proceed from there. So let me just do a barcode here. Yeah. All right, I've saved the number. So let's just quickly get that. So I have this number now saved on my WhatsApp. I'll just go search it out and then I'll use this code to join the operation. So let me just copy this. I want to head to WhatsApp. This is now Twilio WhatsApp. I click on this. So I'll just paste that message here and click uh, enter. And once I click on that enter, I can now proceed back to Twilio. So it's saying, so now uh, my chat bot has kicked in right the chat bot we had so let me just say say how can i help you today so i can interact with uh, it the same way we could do so i could just say um let's say i want to know more about uh, uh whatever it is on the on the board so i can ask it things like um let's say i want to get right the status of my case something like this right so let me just quickly get a case status from the system so let's say i'm asking it about i'll just duplicate this then go to So I just wanted to get a quick case so that I could use that to um, ask the bot. Because you can see now, our bot is asking us for the case or ticket number. So let me just go back here and copy this case number. So you can see. If you want to know how this was built, you could check my videos on uh, building bots and in having interactions with um, customers from many channels. So I could click on this, right? And it's going to return me back the status of my case. So I'm actually getting all this from WhatsApp. You can see from my case. So I could also say, let's say I want to log a case or something like this. So it's going to also walk me through logging a case. So everything that the bot can do from the various interface is going to be able to do it here. Victor O G U C H E at gmail.com. Right. So this is my email. This is going to ask me um, the, what kind of case do I want to uh, create? Let's say I tell it requests, right? Something like this. So it's now asking me the next. Say what type of uh, complaint do I wish to log? Let's say I'll just log something about upgrade. So let's say I say upgrade. And let's say I do something like this. Right. Just copy this first one. And I paste it here. And it says, um, I should give description. I can say, I need help with upgrade, something like this. So it's just, so it, it's going to go back, create. So basically everything you can do with um, your chatbot, your chatbot is now currently the one responding. So I will not, uh, after I'm done, it's done creating with the ticket. I'll ask it to hand me over to, a live agent so that we can see it so it has given me the ticket um, number so let's say i said i want to talk to a human right something like this so when i click on it it's now going to transfer me to a human 
so it's going to be transferring me to a human. So it's transferring me to a human. Now let me go to my environment so that we could pick that up. Right, now you can see, and it's telling us where it's coming from. You can see WhatsApp request from, it's giving the number and I can accept. So just um, the same way the interface you have across all others, you are going to be having that same interface. So you see it's loading the, the WhatsApp for me. I've accepted that. So it's, it's a load to come up. Just give a little bit time. So this is now the whole, the same interface we usually have when we're creating any chat. Uh, and as usual, it will return everything. Give us a quick summary of what has transpired between the customer. Give us the sentiments. And also, if I want to tile this customer, let's say this is the customer currently. If I tile this customer, I'll be able to see the history of that customer as usual. So basically, this is uh, how you integrate WhatsApp with um, the Microsoft Contact Center. And it's very quick and easy um, to do that. And the integration is seamless. So thank you very much for stopping by. Um, do well to hit the subscribe button so that when I release subsequent video also, you can get notified. Thank you and see you in our next video.